Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today, we're featuring a car that's beautiful custom. I'm with Steve. Steve, Hi. what's your car that you brought today? Uh, 56 Bel Air. Why the 56 Custom Bel Air? Um, you know what? It's a car that I've always kind of wanted. I've seen them at car shows, seen them in magazines, something that I was kind of on the hunt for. We found the hunt car. So how long did you look for this one? When did um, you find this one? I found this one at Bear Jackson 2017 Scottsdale. So I've had it just about a year, going on a year. Step right alongside me. Let's take a look at it. And let's take a look at our 56 Bel Air. So the Tri-5 Chevys, as they call them, the 55, the 56, the 57. Just classic design. Any reason why uh, 56 caught your attention? No. That, that, no, I was open to any year in that green. I love this color blue. I mean, it's just magnetic. And with the wonderful jet on the front end. You know, they did just enough to this car to obviously make it custom, but they kept it looking so beautifully stocked. I love all the points that you see across the front. And everything on this car, I mean, it looks, you know, if you were in 56, you can't design all the wonderful pieces on this to make this car very streetable. And yet, it looks so 56. So as we take a look, speaking of streetable, take a look at these rims. And if we look at those, I'm going to do that. We have the custom fleece rings. Wonderful disc brakes. How's this car handle? Great. It's Art Morrison chassis, GT chassis, so it's like a dart on the road. It's so, great. so they've re-chassied it? Yep. Yeah, it's custom nut and bolt ground buildup. Every give, part's brand new on this car. Let me give people that stance right there for a moment. I mean, the, the, you know, this, this goes back to the cars back in the 70s and stuff where you, you jacked up the back end a little bit, but it has such a flavor of, you know, the current car with well-tucked wheels. I mean, look at the, the rims here, the little profiles. This is my hand. That's how deep that is. Let me see if I can get that from the back. I don't know if that really gives it proper adjustment to show you how deep those wheels are. But the proportions of this car are just wonderful. Now Steve, one of the things that, you, that I love that you do with your cars is you drive every one of them. Yes, I drive every single car, no matter what it is. These cars aren't necessarily for the track, they're just for pure enjoyment of driving. Right. What's the reaction? What's the reaction when you drive this one? This one I get a lot, yeah. I <laughs> People come next to me, take pictures. They want to talk about this one. Um, I've taken it to a couple local car shows. Um, it's done well, of course. People said, you know, they don't see stuff that kind of quality, I think. You know, the, the build on this car is ridiculous. So yeah. it gets a lot of attention, for sure. Let's keep showing them the build. Open this trunk, please. And the mirror finish off this black is just, that's why I wanted us to stand there. But look at, look at that. We've got a battery in here. Just so well done. Everything looks fantastic. Even the, you know, all of the metal work, the aluminum, all the way through. Chevrolet. All right, we'll shut that. All right. Show them how the the '57 gas cap. Yep. Works. So Let's twist turns, that and down, turns. and that's it, right here. There's your twist. Yep. A little spring on it, and your gas. That was such a cool idea. Yeah. All right, we'll put that back, back right. up there, just like that. And that right there twists over. Let's take a look at the interior. The Bel Air. The post, as you can see. And take a look at that. I just love this color combination. How they put this 
the original fabric right in the center to give it that flavor and then the, the seats as you can see have that benched feel to them like so look at even the roof liner I'll take my time with that that's wonderful the pedals Clearly custom gauging, but still giving us the feel of what it looked like back there. We put the Chevrolet bed right on the post. And look at you got your radio. You pull it back out. Your heater. Your power windows. Do you know what they put in as far as the transmission? Is it uh, a tr yeah, Tronic. Tronic. Yeah, TK05. Really, your vents, your air conditioning, or for air. Just wonderful. Just wonderful. Let's take a look under the hood, sure. shall we? The pistons. <laughs> Shut that. <laughs> That's wonderful. Well, that's gonna make you wow. <laughs> that's. Let me show people as you enter the heart of the beast. Start her up, shall we? Yes. We'll listen to her idle. We'll... All right. Silly smile off my face. <laughs> that is great. All right, let's shut the hood. All right. Man, that's that is really, really well done. That is really well done. Steve, stand right next to yeah. me. Let me ask you just a few more questions. Sure. So, where did this car guy passion come from? Um, you know what? I think just as a little kid, I always was into cars. Always hot dream. Wheels and stuff? Yeah, Hot Wheels, anything. Magazines, Lamborghini Countach, poster on my wall. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, it just kind of developed into a reality for me. I was lucky enough, blessed that I could do it. So, it just kind of, it keeps me sane now. I own a company and stressful sometimes. So, the cars are kind of my, they're release. my hobby and they're my release of stress. Yeah, I, 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 I can't say the same thing. I mean, when you started that up, and you could hear in my voice the beam that we have <laughs> from these. It's really like we truly are like little kids. Right. What's the favorite thing you like about this car? Oh, this car, you mentioned earlier, the stance. I love the stance of this car, just how it sits. It looks, it, in the paint, it just looks wet when it's PPG boot paint. It just looks wet all the time. So those are my two favorite things. 
definitely the paint and just the stance of this car. It's, it's a full size Hot Wheel. Yes, absolutely, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Steve, so so happy that you're sharing the cars. Thank you so much for allowing us to come on in and enjoy one of your cars with us. And I know we're going to see some more. Thanks for being All on right, the Luke, channel. Thank Mike, you. Mike, I appreciate Mike. it. Thanks.